last class we began by talking about or actually we ended talking about a lost tangent which was we said related to the energies in the case of the compliance it's related to the energy lost versus the energy stored and specifically mechanical energy and, and with this with these parameters And one of the reasons that this is called the loss tangent is the following. Let's say we had a diagram. We said that this is the property there, the imaginary loss property, and this is the property here, the real property. And this draws out this draws out a line. Let's say the property is this large, and this draws out a line, which we know it's going to be smaller. It's going to draw it there, but just to make it more clear, we'll draw that. So the loss, so basically, the real portion is bigger than the lost portion. And then what we're going to do is we're going to say, okay, how can we define the loss tangent, which is going to be here, or in more in our case, we're going to call it phi. So the tangent of this phi is the opposite opposite leg over the adjacent which means it's s prime over s double prime. So now we're going to continue speaking about uh, this, these properties and so then we had the uh, phase here and this is why one of the reasons why we call it a lost tangent because it's kind of the angle between these two properties uh, this angle also tells us again the ratio between the energy lost and the energy stored with regards to dielectric materials <clears throat> I mean the dielectric properties namely the uh, the permittivity under free stress or free strain or I mean sorry free stress the property which is related to the energy lost is going to be directly the dielectric permittivity under free stre stress uh, double prime and the other one is it's going to be prime because we know in this case the energy is directly related with the um, permittivity Whereas in the case of the energy for a mechanical system, it's directly related to 1 over this compliance. So this is why these uh, terms are kind of flipped backwards. The same thing occurs with the piezoelectric material constant, where we have uh, the piezoelectric D double prime over prime equals UL over US and the loss tangent for the permittivity is tangent delta the loss tangent for elastic compliance is tangent phi the loss tangent for the d piezoelectric d which is not exactly related to a um, an energy but we'll we'll discuss what that exactly means it's kind of a recent uh, a recent addition to piezoelectric theory, but we'll discuss it in the less because it's an important um, thing to consider. And that is tangent phi. So the plainest one comes last. So this is very important to know which one is which. There are going to be some primes associated with this. And these primes, what they mean is that they refer to the constant stress condition, they refer to the elastic uh, compliance as well. And the piezoelectric charge constant under constant stress, uh, which is we're not we didn't really talk about that yet, but the the loss tangent for the free strain would be tangent uh, phi. I mean, sorry, tangent delta without a prime, and the tangent and the loss tangent for the uh, compliance under constant dielectric displacement is tangent phi without a prime, and the same thing it goes for this. Um, 
there would be really <laughs> uh, fields of charge constant under constant strain because that's uh, not exactly telling us much. But uh, we do kind of define that. And we'll see why that comes and how it does. In the next um, lecture, we're going to talk about hysteresis. So basically, another way to understand losses is under a alternating field, an alternating stress, an alternating electric field. Uh, this is another way to understand losses in PAOs, electric materials. See you next time.